Bangladesh is a fast growing developing country who is, is expected to become middle income country by 2020. Despite being a riverine country, safe drinking water is becoming scarce because of water pollution, salinity and widespread arsenic contamination. In the whole world, about 2.5 billion people do not have clean private toilet. In Bangladesh, still 40% of the household do not have access to safe water and 46% do not have access to improved sanitation. We all know sanitation means development. For $1 invested in sanitation generates a return of $1.5. Open defecation has been reduced from 42% to 6% in 2009. Salinity and arsenic contamination in the surface water and groundwater is spread over the whole country, especially in the northern and southern parts are in alarming rate. Maintaining hygiene is not well practiced in Bangladesh. As a result, frequent diarrhea and other water and foodborne diseases are observed especially for the children. In the whole world, in every 20 seconds, diarrhea kills one child. <laughs> However, evidence and the observational studies show that improved hand washing and safe stool disposal benefit health outcomes like diarrhea. Although the growing understanding of the drivers of hygiene behavior, some important gaps exist in the literature. of the effectiveness of intervention to improve food hygiene in the developing country are available. Hence, the scope for doing randomized controlled trial of food hygiene education is promising to find out how safe hygiene practice matters for daily routine in the context of homes, schools, and workplace to achieve major gains to household health outcomes. Being funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation DAAD, and the foundation of the Fiat Fenis, one of the chief PhD students, Muhammad Monirul Hassan, conduct this survey in Bangladesh. The study area are two northern districts like Rashahi and Nauga. This area is called Barindro Belt which suffers from availability of ground and surface water. Drinking water is scarce in this region because of the level of groundwater is too far below than the normal level. One of the solution to this problem is establishing deep tea well water which is expensive. Government organizations such as Borindra Multipurpose Development Authority BMDA, started this supply of groundwater for irrigation as well as drinking of purpose. Some households in these areas have access to tap water in their household. The research makes at least some contribution by identifying how food hygiene education affect health investment behavior of the rural households. Randomized control trial RCT for food hygiene education is conducted in these two districts of rural Bangladesh. 
Various institutions such as BRAC, IFRI and ICDDRB in Bangladesh provided support and logistics for this subway. The collaboration with the Institute of Biological Science of Russia University Lab is remarkable and commendable in this research. The study was designed based on two clusters of samples where one group has publicly supplied drinking water and another group don't have this facility. In each group, 16 villages were randomly selected where each village contains 16 households. For the study, a group of 512 households were randomly selected with the inclusion criteria of having children under 5 years of age where 256 is from publicly supplied water and 256 household is from non-publicly supplied water. In the baseline survey, we have collected information of household hygiene practices and other water sanitation and hygiene related information. We have collected the anthropometric sample of under 5 children of all households. Microbiological tests such as E. coli bacteria in water and food preparing utensils have been tested for three successive terms to see the impact of food hygiene education. An experienced trainer was hired to facilitate the training of food hygiene education to the rural household of these 16 villages. Later on, another 16 villages were covered also. The treatment was the combination of the three things. First, result of E. coli testing of the water and food preparing utensils. Second, how to maintain food hygiene in household level. Third, a poster is given to the household to hang in their dining area. <laughs> 